When did you discover that you were a good athlete? When I was in the third grade, my mindset was like, hey, I'm the best player on my team. I got to be the best third grader in the country. And that was always, <laughs> that was always my mindset. Is there anything you can do to enhance or increase speed? Sprint. Run. You, what, sprint? What, 30, 40, 50? What's, what? Do starts, um, 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards, sprint. About two, three times a week. When I'm in season, practice is the most important thing. Pushing yourself in practice. Um, in the off season, um, I'll do extra runs as well just to keep an edge. So come those, those late late months in the season, November, December, January, those sprints that I do in the off season, I'll feel them then and that's what will keep me having an, having an edge. What do you do for your musculoskeletal system? Pilates, it's a big part of that. Um, the little muscles, um, core, oblique, shoulders, hips, glutes. I lift weights, completely full body. On top of, of lifting weights, uh, I love getting in a swimming pool, running. I want you to put me in a game. What is going through your mind in terms of you're preparing for whatever is going to happen to you? What do you do? What do you think? Yeah. What do you look for? Well, in the beginning of a game, that's when teams really, they're going to try everything. Um, there's about 20 plays that they'll try from whatever. And then from those 20, play, 20 plays for the rest of the game, they're going to they're gonna stick to those plays of which ones that worked. So in the first 20 plays, they probably, it's already scripted. They know what they're going to run. They know what they're going to do. So in those first 20 plays, it's like, you know, I don't really know what to expect. And then as the game goes on, you kind of have a more, more idea of how they're trying to attack, what their game plan is and things like that. My thought process is I'm thinking about my responsibility. What's the biggest mistake you could make? Not taking a vertical. <laughs> what is a vertical? He's running straight down the field, nine route. Missing a guy running right by you. Yeah, not taking him. Does it no. ever happen? It's, it's not happened, no. <laughs> Never? It's, it, it has not happened, no. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a fireable offense right there. Are some players more challenging for you than others? There's a lot of a really good tight ends in the league. Guys who can run, but also guys who are you know, maybe too big for a guy like a cornerback, um, but also maybe too fast for a guy like a, a linebacker. Um, so I think that's kind of where I'd separate because I can deal with those guys. Lock them up. What does that mean? <laughs> Make them a non-factor. Yeah. Take them out the game plan. But, but physically, what do you do? I cover them. I see. When you cover somebody, you try to stay behind them, to the side of them, in front of them? In front of them. Closer to the line of scrimmage, so he gets behind you? Depends. If you're in the red zone, you want him behind you. You want to box him out, because if they get in front of you in the, in the red zone, they can box you out. It really depends on where you are on the field. Are there some quarterbacks that are more difficult for you to play well against than others? Um, yeah, for sure. Why? Mobility, quarterbacks that can run, dual threats, run the ball and throw the ball successfully. That's, that's something that's usually a part of our game plan. Those guys are really tough to play against. How do, you play, how do you plan for that, for a quarterback who can run all over the place? In a defense where we put in a whole other defense, put in a whole, a whole other coverage where guys are doing completely different things because of the threat that the quarterback provides. Like what? Like Lamar Jackson. He's one guy. Um, who we've had to game plan against just because of his running ability, but also he can throw the ball. Um, guys like Patrick Mahomes, who can extend plays, um, you know, create those unorthodox, unorthodox plays where usually you may have to cover for three to four seconds, but with him, my quarterback scrambling, you may have to cover for five or six. Your future. You must, have, you must think about your future. The near future. One of the best defenders in football. That's the near future. A distant future, an inspiration. Continue to, to find things I'm, I'm passionate about. I'm a hard worker. I'm always the type to figure something out, figure it out and, and, and apply myself 100% to it. I think I'm really good in front of a camera. I think I'm really good at talking in front of a camera.
So maybe broadcasting in some shape or form. I love exercise. I got my degree in exercise science, so that's, that'll always be a passion of mine beyond football. I love helping people. I love helping others. That'll always be a passion of mine. I envision my family, actually. I envision my family and, and I guess when I, when I see others, I kind of I picture my family in a way. Because my family has been through struggles. My family has had struggles, um, have had hardships, and it hasn't always been easy. It hasn't always been a walk in the park. So when I see other people that struggle or maybe have hardships, I see them as my family and it makes me want to help in any way possible.